today on Low Buck Builds, we're building a desk for my wife. This is the CAD I drew up for the concept for the desk that I'm going to make. These are the materials you need to make this desk. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut all these one bys down to size. Here are all the sizes that we'll need. My wife wanted a 3x6 desk. They could be pulled out into the middle of the room and both sides could be used at the same time. Obviously if you want something a little bigger or smaller you just adjust the sizes. This is pretty basic here just mark cut mark cut get all these pieces cut out. I'm not going to bore you with hours of me just cutting boards so we're going to skip ahead to the next step. And here's all the boards cut and ready to go. Now let's move on. Here we have all the boards laid out and ready to start staining them. So now we'll start seeing the wood. Up in the right hand corner you'll see the type of stain I used. So by far staining was the longest part of the process for building this. I probably spent eight hours over three days just doing stain work. But I wanted to go for like an aged wood, old world look. So I did one coat of stain and then one coat of clear. You can use two coats of stain with this and it'll kind of look like shiny and dark but I liked one coat plus the clear on my test panels. And I did about an hour and a half dry time and then flipped them to the other side. It says six hours for full dry but I didn't have that much time. I did not stain the edges because I'm going to wait till it's fully assembled because it's going to be a waste of stain and this stuff is expensive. So I'll just wait, assemble it, and then whatever trim edges show, that's what I'll stain at the end. And basically you just repeat this step for the next six hours, if you're like me. Let's move on to the next step. Here's the first set of boards all stained up. Now we'll flip them and do the other side. So next we're going to do our two plywood cuts. We need two pieces of half inch plywood at 36 inches by 27 and 3 quarters. So using a sharpie and a t-square I'm going to mark all my measurements on the plywood. Using a circular saw I'll need to take off two feet from one end and one foot across. So first I'm going to mark up and cut off two feet from the end of the plywood. Now I'll mark everything up for the one foot across cut. I'm just using this cheap plywood for a backing for the outer shells. You can use something fancier but there's not really a reason to. And now we just need to cut it into two sheets.
So these scrap pieces we're going to turn into one board. There's three pieces of 1 by 12 and one piece of maple plywood. They're all cut to 36 inches. We're going to use them to make the inside boards by where your legs go. So now we're going to start assembling this. I'm going to use this trim nailer to hold everything in place, then use a eighth inch drill bit to pilot hole, and then finish off with drywall screws to hold everything in place. So we start out building a basic box. We're going to use 36 on top, and then 27 and 3 quarters on the sides. Here I'm using the T-square to mark the center so I can set my shelf going straight across. And again I'll use my framing nailer to put one nail on each side just to temporarily hold everything in place and then use a square or a level before putting a second nail in just to make sure the, the shelf is good and level. You can see my dog Charlie giving me a hand. Here I'm using my 8th inch drill bit to drill pilot holes. Using this cheaper wood you have to make sure to do that or it will splinter. After I get the pilot holes in I'll use drywall screws, I think they were an inch and three quarter, to go ahead and hold everything in place. And here I'll start measuring up the cross pieces, make sure that I don't need to take any extra off, they actually fit really good. And just make sure I use a tape measure and mark the center to help line up the board. Taking my time, I want to make sure these are good and center and good and level. And now we repeat the process with the next board. For this one I had to toenail the finishing nails in. And then I'll pilot hole and, and drill screws at an angle. And then I'll finish off with piloting and screwing in on the end. I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to move on to the next step. 
So here's the two boards that we made. We're going to quickly rip these down to the right size now that they're all glued together. And here's a shot of them after I cut them off. These will be the same size now as the plywood originally was, which is 36 by 27 and 3 quarters. So here we're going to attach the plywood to the back of the shelf. Here I'm drilling the pilot holes. And then putting the screws in. Just basically repeat all the way around. And now I'm going to set these inner shelves. I'm going to use some small little shelf brackets. You can see the ones I use up in the corner. And on the shelf side, I'll use the brackets and then I'll put my last piece across the top to hold the rest of it in. I also want to note that I'm using half inch number eight wood screws to hold these brackets in. And basically you follow the same three steps to get the next two shelves in. I also want to note that I set the middle shelf about three inches below center so that way I could drill holes and run screws from the opposite side to add more strength. And here we have them all wrapped up. Do a quick little walk around so you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. And now we'll go ahead and stain these edges. I'll stain that center piece whenever I do the top. I didn't get it on video, but I did want to note that I used three quarter inch quarter round oak to trim around the edge of the top. The only reason I used oak is I didn't have a plain pine. It was all painted white and I wanted something I could stain. You can see everything in the background. We got everything all stained up. Now all we have to, left to do is to clear it. Here we go again. The Last step is basically the same as the prior step, it's just brush it on, keep it nice and make it look nice.
I think you get the idea. We'll just wrap it up, clear coat everything, and call it a day. And here's the final product. As you can see, it's a nice big desk. It's probably going to get covered in glitter and paint and who knows what. But my wife's happy, so I'm happy. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. Thank you.